Hey, we're back to the channel. So, uh, we've got snow. It's pretty awesome. So what can a, a street photographer do when it starts snowing? Well, head to the sea. Thought I might do a POV today. So, uh, ooh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get ourselves going, shall we? Where's all the snow? God damn it, London. And welcome back to another video. So, uh, so yeah, it's a POV, and I hope you enjoyed that little transition to begin with. I almost killed myself slipping over on the snow outside my house. But we're currently on Piccadilly outside the Ritz Hotel, um, and yeah, I'm just going to take it and the big tree, nice shot of the Ritz with its wonderful. Christmas decorations. Oil there, look. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Now, I do promise you that I am actually on the same day as the shot outside my house. It, uh, it turns out that the City of London has decided to get rid of all the snow. But just to sort of show you that we are still sort of roughly on the same day, that's the... Uh, the extent of the snow in the city at the moment, well, well, where I am right now, which is now Green Park. But, um, but yeah, I thought I would end the year on a POV. And so I've explained the reason why I've not done a POV for a while. The reason being is that I lost a wallet with all my spare SD cards in. I uh, had no clue where it went. I only had the one for my main camera. And uh, yeah, so I've not been able to, to shoot a POV for a while until recently. Basically, so here we go. Um, I'm back. I'm back doing the POVs. You guys seem to like them. Yeah. Got the uh, 18 to 55 propped up on the front here. But we're going to see what we can gather. Now, I do have a bit of a plan on what I want to do today. I sort of want to walk all the way down here towards Buckingham Palace. Uh, probably through the park, see if there's anything decent with the snow that we have left. And then maybe go around St. James's Park, up to Westminster, and then circle back on ourselves, going up uh, Whitehall and then Trafalgar Square, see what's going on around there. But currently in Green Park and yeah, seeing what we can sort of achieve with... All this, um, again, I still feel a bit rusty with sort of going out and about. I've been very busy these last few months, so not entirely too sure if I'm rambling. If I am, please hit me in the comments and tell me that I am. Tell me to shut up. That'd be fantastic. But uh, if not, tell me what you think of the photographs so far. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's venture a little bit further into the park and see what we got. Right, so here we are back in the... Uh, sort of in the center a little bit. I've got this lovely lamppost just in the second, in the center there. That's pretty cool. Now, technically it is like the, the second day of snow. It snowed not last night, the night, the night before. So this is quite impressive that we've still sort of got it out and about. But as you can see, like around my house, like it's literally so deep and prominent. Obviously, they've spent a lot of time in in the city, sort of getting. Well, that's nice. I like that. Getting rid of it. Uh, so, London is famous for not dealing with snow very well. It is definitely something that's throughout the times that I've lived here, it sort of like shuts down, the public transport shuts down, all the schools were shut yesterday. 
Only a couple of them have opened up today. It does, it's quite embarrassing in a way, but considering we don't get much snow like this regularly, you can sort of forgive us a little bit by, can we actually, uh, can we actually cope with it? But yeah, this, uh, at least the park has a, a remnants of it. So you could probably get like a bit of a, a Narnia type feel maybe. Let's see if we can get some like nice leading lines with the paths. Obviously that's where a lot of people have been walking. So a lot of the snow has been melted or trodden away. Let's see if we can get this leading line with the, uh, with the path leading all the way down. That's quite, that's quite pretty. Focus down the end. So settings wise, I'm gonna keep them quite basic. Uh, I am currently on manual. I might slip over to aperture priority a little bit later on. But yeah, ISO is on 100. Currently aperture on 5.6. Might open that a little bit. Let's bring it all the way up to 11. Bring the shutter speed up to like 250. So it means we will have to bring the ISO up a little bit. Just like that. We've got a few people sort of knocking in there a little bit. Okay, it's uh pan all the way out. That's quite a high aperture really. That's nice. Not too bad, probably more of it in focus. But let's uh let's go and visit Buckingham Palace now and see what's going on. I'm sort of hoping maybe when we go up to Trafalgar Square that the fountains may have been a bit frozen because it is cold. It's definitely on the zeros, minus one, one degrees Celsius at the moment. So it is cold. That's why a lot of snow still is around because it's not melted, even though it's, we've not had any fresh downpour for almost 24 hours. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the gloves might have to come on very shortly. Right, let's make our way to Buckingham Palace. Right, so here we are at Buckingham Palace. Now I've not actually been around this area since before the Queen's actual death. So this is actually quite a nice experience for me, but there's this really cool shot just through the middle there. So we've got the guard guarding with the Christmas tree. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit like with post. Ah, oh. but yeah, so here we are. Obviously a lot has changed, but then again, a lot hasn't changed in the same breath, I guess, around this area. Flag's still flying at the top. Tourists are still knocking around. Braving the cold. I'm gonna come around here and see if I can get like a, a better shot of this guard. It's coming up around here, look. Nice contrast to the red there. So here we go, let's see if we got like a nice Lovely. Probably would be better with a bit more of a zoom lens, but you know, we can work with what we've got, can't we, on the roads? And uh, here with the eye in the background, so the roads are shut off, so it's quite safe to walk across the pavement here. Oh. It's lovely to see that there's still so many people wandering about. Can't quite make out the London Eye in the background. It's <laughs> there is quite a uh, a whitewash of a sky today, as you can imagine, with weather like this. The sun's not necessarily going to be poking out through the clouds, although it is sort of trying to sort of 
make an appearance just over there. Let's see if we can get somewhere. Well, there we go. Let's see what we can do. We'll see that on screen if I can do anything with that, of course. Um, if you are interested in how I edit my photographs, I do in fact use presets which are available on my website. Link in the description. They are free at the moment. I don't charge for my presets, but that might all change at some point in the future. We never know. If you guys like them, download them for free. I've got a few more that I've not as yet uploaded, but I don't really feel there's much more that I could take. Back on the pass at the moment. It's like a nice groupy shot here, look. See if there's anything we can salvage from that. Might go back a little bit and try again with that shot. But uh, we're gonna walk through St. James's Park. That's a really lovely park to take some photographs in, and especially if it's all winter white, like we can see just in the front here. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on with our little walk, shall we? Let's see if we can get a nice one of Queen Victoria Memorial. Bosh. Nice, that's quite pretty. I like that. Right, let's, uh, let's carry on. Right, so we are in the heart of St. James's Park. The lake in the center has actually frozen over. But we're uh, finding some lovely little shots just over here. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That just goes to show how cold it is. Um, but yeah, there's uh, again, a fair bit of snowfall. The animals are going crazy. Parrots are quite quiet at the moment. So there's not a lot of noise coming from them. There's a squirrel tucking into a little box here. Hey. Do I get that? Let's see if we can try again, shall we? Oh, hey, buddy. His mates come to say hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. You've come to say hello, have you? Come on in. Let's get a picture of you, shall we? Hello, mate. No, not having it. Not having it. All right, fair enough. That probably would have been a cool shot, but hey ho. Let's try it from this angle. Oh, he's crapping himself now, look. Hey. Did you forget how friendly they are in here? Hey. Oh, this is butthole. How long am I gonna wait for this shot? That's the question. Is that actually gonna be worth it? I'll just poke your head out, look. Got one climbing up my leg. That might have to do, I guess. So we're gonna walk up this way now, towards Parliament Square. Have a bit of a bit to see if there's anything else worthwhile. A lot of tourists. Again, like I said, it's quite nice actually to see that the, uh, the tourist industry is still thriving. Yeah, I wish I came out yesterday now, but the transport was an absolute shambles. So we've obviously spent the day trying to fix everything. And as you can see, a lot of the snow is starting to disappear. But um, let's see if we need to get a picture of these two feeding the squirrel. Oh, oh, run up here like this. Slightly overexposed, see if I can bring that back in post. But yeah. Whew. It's definitely warming the old blood up. So here we are at Parliament Square. Big Ben just in front of us there, look. Just poking in between the trees. Oh. I have to bring the aperture down slightly. I'm still shooting in manual. 
bring it up, there we go. So I'm taking control of all my settings. But yeah, that sky is extraordinarily bright. So it's gonna be a fair bit of work in post. But again, a nice busy area. It's took a few little shots inside St. James's Park, but it's uh people are just milling around feeding the squirrels at the moment, so there's not a lot going on. But I really do like that park. It is one of my one of my favourite parks in London. It is very pretty. I highly recommend coming in and shooting there. Yeah, picture of the clock poking through the trees. Across the road. Oh, he skewed off a little bit too quick. Another one here, look. A few shots of Big Ben. Too many of the same thing, really, do we? Is that in focus? Oh, so gloves have come on because it's uh, slightly out of focus. That one, the old uh, the hands are starting to shake a little bit with the um, with the cold. Shut needs to come up a little bit, I reckon. I'm overcompensating for the uh, aperture being too high. Been out to 400, shall we? There we go. Try to get a few more sharper images. Because in a day, that's what we're here for. Some nice, sharp photos. Photo of a man taking a photo. That might be an interesting set to show. Here we go. So we got like a nice photo of this guy or girl in the bright reds. Middle of all the snow. Shut it down. Might be interesting. Uh, it's crazy how blown out that sky is. Contrast to the uh, clock tower. Might look all right. But yeah, so I don't think I want to be out for much longer because it is extraordinarily cold. Oh, let's see if we can sneak a more candid shot of this lady taking a photograph of herself with the red jacket. There we go. That's quite cool. Quite nice, quite candid. But yeah, it's uh, like you see this stuff on the floor. It's not powdery. It's very sort of condensed, punched down ice pretty much. Usually when I come around here, there's usually a few people protesting, but I don't think it's uh, <laughs> the weather for protests today. So I think what I'm gonna do now is that we're gonna walk up Whitehall, which I think is this one here, or Parliament Street, and then uh, head into Trafalgar Square, where I think we might end this video. So yeah, almost done guys. Bear through, bear through. Okay, so here we are up Whitehall stroke Parliament Street. Got Trafalgar Square just in front of us, just there. I'm gonna pop across, see if we can take a nice photo of the horse guards. Well, he's just cut my shot, so let's go across here first. Now they're wearing blue, so I don't think these guys are the lifeguards. I can't remember what they are called when they are 
wearing blue. Maybe if you know, you can tell me in the comments and remind me. It's been a while since I've had the privilege to know this knowledge. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> People ducking out of the way. Uh, three, two, one, and go. Oh, hello, look, you've got the horse smiling. Isn't that nice? It's not too bad. I often wonder if they mind if the uh, people come along and take photographs of them. But yeah, leave them to their jobs in the day. It's a lot of news crews knocking about, so I think there's something important going on. Might ask one of them in a little while. But again, don't want to really disturb them. So there's a nice Christmas tree up there in the far end as well. So that might be some nice shots a little bit later on. Let's get this one, nice clear road look. Nice. Might raise the uh, shot speed up a little bit. Bring up the ISO. Just by tad. And all the cars are starting to come. So. Oh, it is definitely, definitely chilly in the capital today. So what I might do, I might quickly jog up to Trafalgar Square, take a few more of these photos and call it a day, I reckon. Let's, uh, let's end this on a high, shall we? Okay, so here we are in Trafalgar Square. So uh, the fountains haven't frozen over. So nothing too pretty going that way, but at least they are still gushing as they always will. Let's get some nice shots of these guys then, shall we? Lovely. Nice quick shot speeds. freeze that water. So I'm a shirt speed on 500 of a second at the moment to get that, just get that water to sort of like stop where it is. So there's a bit of a, bit of a market at the top there as well. Oh, St. Martin's in the fields in the background. Again, washed out by that sky. A little bit. Some few nice little shots up here might pop up to the um, to the actual market. Just up that way a bit. As well, see what's going on. Also, looks like that the uh, the fountains have tried to freeze over, just not done a very good job at it. All right, see if we can get this seagull with Big Ben poking its head in the background. Look, that's pretty cool. That's quite a nice one. Uh, but guys, let's let's end this video, shall we? Let's uh, call it a day. Oh, right then, guys. So I think I'm going to call that a day. So we're in, as I said, Trafalgar Square. Now the light's not been sensational. It's been quite a dull, dull cloud across the top. So a lot of these photographs are quite flat, a lot of work in post, and I'm very disappointed by the severe lack of snow on the ground. But I do think we've got a few nice photos, if I'm honest. I think, you know, I might be happy off the back of the camera with about, oh, I don't know, 50%, maybe 60 some nice ones i did take a fair few as i was walking without the actual camera itself on so i'm going to sort of squeeze some of them on the old instagram but guys if you have enjoyed this video and you've made it this far it will be rude not to hit the thumbs up button really wouldn't it and in a day if you've made it to the end it'd be quite nice to see that support it takes seconds out of your day but it means the world to me 
Also, if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of what I do here at Better Media, hit the subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and keep all the notifications going. And yeah, let's, uh, let's rock into the new year with a, with a healthy start. But guys, until next time, have a wonderful Christmas. If you don't see me before, have a great new year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.